Okay. It wasn't until I went to Washington, D.C., where I was surrounded by all of these really engaged citizens saying, we want more. We're tired of Washington. We're tired of government, and we know it's broken. But we need everyday people to step up and do th something different. And so this is a moment where I, I didn't know what to expect. I'd never been to a rally before. I went with my best friend from business school. And we're in this sea of people, and it was such a calm because people were just excited about this moment in history, being a part of that moment in history and doing something bigger than ourselves together. And so we, we were walking and meeting with people. I'll tell you, it was a thousand people deep and we were able to navigate through the crowd. It's, it's as if the seas parted because people were just so open to supporting each other. And it gave me, it gave me hope that as a country, if we come together to do things, we can, we can make big things happen. So within 13 hours of coming back from the Women's March, I reached out to our county party to run for office, and I wanted to know how could I get more involved. And so that's how we made a decision to run for state senate. So this is our time as women to stand up and to have our voices heard. I really see this as a challenge for the whole country. As a country, as everyday people like myself, as a mother, I, I worked hard and I focused on caring for my family and my community. But I never asked for a seat at the table. I never had the courage to do that. And it's become clear that our, our government isn't gonna self-correct, it's broken. And as everyday citizens, we have an opportunity to step up, be civically engaged, and really have dramatic change that's going to last for generations. So I'm excited to be a part of that. And I'm excited about the number of people from a grassroots level that have come out to support the campaign and to do this together. So this is just a very inspiring time for me. I really look at this as an, a chance for us to look back at our time in history and to say, what have, what have we done? and to know that we're, we're actually a part of this movement that's gonna forever change the way that government is conducted in America. It's a, a mission that's bigger than any one person and I, I know that's what gets me up in the morning and I know that's what gets all of the volunteers that are really a part of this campaign excited. So I really see this opportunity, running for, for state senate, as a way to have a national conversation. So the presidential election was so divisive. And I'm challenging a gentleman who was the first elected official in all of New Jersey to endorse Donald Trump. And this is an opportunity for us to put aside party politics and to talk about how are everyday people looking to solve the problems that we have. I didn't see candidates coming together. I actually just saw greater, a greater push to the extremes on either end. And that's not gonna get us anywhere. And we have, a, we have a global economy that we need to be competitive in. So at the state level, we have a real opportunity to be a voice, to show people that, in fact, ideology and extremism is not what the country wants. The country would love to get together and talk about in what areas do we have overlap and common interest, like in growing the economy, seeing more innovation, making sure that our children can afford to go to school and they have a chance at the American dream. Okay.